Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about um, why I use Adespresso and uh, some of the things that it can do that I found difficult to do with the regular Facebook ad manager and the power editor. So I've been using the ad manager and power editor for a while and it's great for setting up your campaigns um, and doing some analytics on them. But um, what I find, what I found is that with Adespresso, what it allows me to do is um, it's allowed me to, to sort of find out better when certain things are working. So when I'm doing a lot of split testing, so for things like images, audiences, headlines for ads, I found that Ad Espresso is just an easier way to see the results of those split tests. And I'm going to show you an example today of um, how I've been using Ad Espresso for some split testing. So what I'm what I have in front of me is a campaign that I'm running on Facebook ads, and it's also inside Ad Espresso, and um, it's a it's a campaign to increase likes on a page on a Facebook page. And the thing that I wanted to test was I wanted to test different ad images, I wanted to test different audiences, and I wanted to test different uh, headlines for the ads to see which ones would work the best. And I'm going to show you here are um, some of the results that I've already um, seen with Ad Espresso. So for this ad campaign here, what you're going to see is you see these eight different images. These are images that I used for um, inside the ads to get people to like the page. And some of the images are going to work better than others. So I wanted to have a way to test which images would work better. So out of these eight images, um, what I have here is I have a graph. Uh, in fact, let me just reload this graph. So here's the graph. And with, with these eight images, you could see here that um, some of the images did way better than others. And, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the lowest graph because the lowest graph is what's going to be the lowest CPA or cost per acquisition, which is a, which is a generic term. But in, in, in our specific case, the cost per acquisition is really the cost per like. And that's this column here, the CPA. So I want to see which images generate the lowest cost per like. And right now I'm going to order I'm going to order these results from lowest to highest. So as you can see this image here generated an average cost per like of 11.6 cents. This one was 13.2 and this one 14.8 cents and so on. As you can see if I scroll down this image generated a, an average cost per like of 40.6 cents, which is, you know, many times, that's like almost four times the price of this image. So as you can see, the image makes a big difference. Now, I could have done this with, um, with Facebook, um, the ad manager, but it would have been a lot more difficult because that image was used in multiple ad sets. And with, with the ad manager, because it splits it up by ad sets, I would have had to really create my own spreadsheet and, and, and do a lot of number crunching to figure out these, um, these results that here, that, that Adespresso kind of, um, it combines for me because it, it looks at all the different ads and all the different ad sets across the one campaign that I was using and then it combines them into these single um, figures here, like what's the total cost per like, which is this number here, 11.6. So this was very useful to use um, at Espresso to get to see which images performed uh, performed the best. So when I see the results, I can then you know turn off the images that are not performing well, and that's actually what I did here. All these images here on the left, where you see that pause sign, th these have already turned off. The only ones I've kept running are the top three images here, because you know the best one was 11.6 and the worst one was 14.8 and I figured that was that was good enough like it did you know it wasn't a huge difference because the next one after that is already 23.9 cents so that's how I was using that's how I am using Ad Espresso to see what images are um, the most effective and give you the cheapest cost per like for your like campaigns you could do the same thing by the way with different campaigns it doesn't have to be just for uh, page like campaigns. This could be for you know click to website campaigns to get 
when you when you want to generate traffic to your website it could be for conversion campaigns and so forth so the next thing I want to show you is um, how I tested the um, the headlines so you know there's there's images there's also headlines in the ad so this is where I'm gonna do here text and when I select text you'll see two different headlines that I had with my images so ad espresso allows you to um, create different headlines and it will automatically create all the different combinations of the different images the different headlines the different audiences and, and other factors that you can split test all at the same time so what I'm going to show you here when I graph it is you're gonna see that the difference is actually not that not that great so in the beginning the difference was pretty big between the two as you can see the red one was way more expensive it was like started off at, at 54 cents per like and the blue one was at 22 cents per like but over time as you could see they kind of stabilized and now at the end they're really about the same like 13 cents for one and 14.3 for the other so there's not a huge difference in the CPA or the cost per like when you look at the headlines so for that reason I left them on I didn't turn one off because if there was a huge difference if one was like twice as expensive as the other then of course I would I would turn off the more expensive one okay and now let's take a look at the third factor which is the audience so for this campaign I created five different audiences that I wanted to split test because you know some audiences could perform better than others and I wanted to see okay which audiences would would be the, the would give me the cheapest cost per like so if I go here to saved audiences you'll see that I have here five different audiences that I created uh, based on different um, demographics interests and so forth so if I graph the these audiences you're gonna see the graph here again it starts off with one audience this yellow one which is cycling tips Peloton magazine which was you know way more expensive than the other audiences but again at the beginning you kind of have to let it run and and see what the results will be over the long term so here you could see that as time went on the the cost for the different audiences sort of they all kind of converged and there wasn't a huge difference between audiences so this was actually very um, this was very interesting data to see because you know I would have expected some audiences to really outperform other audiences but from what we see here there's not really a big difference if we if I order the um, the results here the audiences again by CPA so it's actually let me try it here okay this is from most expensive so let me try here okay now it's from least expensive to most expensive so this is a CPA of 13.3 cents okay and the most expensive CPA is 15.1 cents for the, the USA cycling um, audience and it's not that big of a difference like I mean I could turn this off I could I could pause this audience and I and I could easily do that um, inside um, inside at espresso but I'm gonna let it run for now because what I found and what I just showed you is the the biggest difference between uh, image uh, headline and audience is that the image made the most difference because if I go back to the image and I graph it again you know you can consistently see how that orange image if you look at the orange image it was around 40.6 40.6 cents that has been consistently that way they're not converging and the cheapest ones were the yellow red and blue image you know those were somewhere around uh, the 11 to 14 cent mark so again my con my sort of conclusion from this test shows that image really has the biggest impact in terms of your cost per acquisition which in this case is the cost per like okay thanks